Now I would like to explain DC voltmeters. At the end of the session, you will be able to know about the voltmeter, know the types of voltmeters, understand the operation of DC voltmeter. First of all, what is voltmeter? It is the common instrument which is used to measure the voltage. The voltage may be DC voltage or AC voltage. The voltmeter, uh, mostly we are connecting parallel to the parallel in the circuit. Okay, it is used to measure the potential difference between the two wires. Here we have two types of uh, voltmeter. Actually, this is the analog voltmeter. Okay, this is the multimeter actually. By using a multimeter, we can uh, measure the voltages also. Right, this is the analog type voltmeter. Right? We have different types of uh, voltmeters. That is analog voltmeter as well as a digital voltmeters. The readings are shown on the scale is calling as an analog voltmeter. Here we have a scale. On the scale, there is a different types of readings are available. Okay. In case of digital voltmeters, the readings are displayed on the LCD. This is the display. The readings will be displayed on the LCD. If we want to measure a voltage between the two wires, we connecting these two leads to that wires. Okay, these two leads we are connected parallelly to that wires. We can measure the voltage in digital form as well as an analog form. Right. The basic principle in the voltmeter is D R sonoval instrument. The basic instrument in the voltmeter is D R sonoval instrument. D R sonoval instrument. The basic principle here is when the coil is placed in between the magnetic field. Okay, if you apply the current to that coil, based on the applied current, the needle will be moved from one point to the another point based on the applied voltage. Right. The most commonly used DC voltmeter is based on the fundamental principle of a motor. The motor action is produced by the flow of small amount of current through a moving coil, which is proportional in the permanent magnetic field. This basic moving system is called as the Arsenal movement. It is also called as a basic meter, right? Here we have a, a coil wounded by a copper wire. Okay, one end is connected to the needle. That needle will be placed on the scale. Okay, the total system is placed in between the May permanent magnet. When we are applying the current to, to that coil, the magnetic field will be induced. Electromagnetic field will be induced. Based on the current, the field will be induced. Then the needle will be moved from one point to another point. Based on the applied current, the scale will be moved from one point to one point. This is the basic principle working of the r instrument. This instrument is used in the voltmeter. Okay, whenever the current is off, by using this spring, the needle will be comes to the back. Right, this is the DC voltmeter. This is the basic voltmeter. This one is the basic voltmeter. This is the PMMC galvanometer, permanent magnetic moving coil galvanometer is connected in series with the resistance, right? The use of the basic meter is a DC voltmeter. You see, it is necessary to know the amount of current required to deflect the basic meter to full scale, known as full scale deflection. That is indicated with I suffix FSD, full scale deflection current. For moving this needle, some current is required. Okay, if you increase in the current, the deflection will be Full. That will be calling as a full scale deflection. The basic D R sonable moment can be converted into the DC voltmeter by adding a series resistance. It is known as a multiplier. This one. That is, this is the current. This is the resistance. Current into the resistance, which is equals to voltage. Based on the applied current to the meter, the voltage will be calculated. The multiplier limits the current through the movement so that the current does not exceed the 
full scale deflection value right from the circuit v is equals to im into rs plus rm rs is a resistance this is the series resistance rm is the galvanometer resistance so from this equation we are going to calculate rs value rs is equals to v minus im into rm by im this this can be written as v by im this is a voltage difference minus rm okay why because v by im minus im into rm by im 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 get cancelled finally v by im minus rm will be remaining so rs is equals to v by im minus r the multiplier limits the current through the meter so the multiplier is rs the rs will limits the current through the meter so as not exceeds the value of full scale deflection okay based on this value based on this value we can design different types of voltmeters okay it is why because it is having some limit limit okay so suppose we want to design 100 100 volt voltmeter you you should increase this resistance value okay this will be the fixed one we are connecting the series resistance to this voltmeter that range will be increased this is a actual practical circuit uh, practical uh, that is uh, voltmeter okay here we have a permanent magnetic coil so this is the deflection scale this is the indicator here we have a coil here we have a permanent magnets here okay that that will be used for finding out the voltage up to 10 volts suppose we want to measure the voltage for different values we are going for the multi range voltmeter multi range voltmeter means already we have seen this is the galvanometer that is the permanent magnetic moving coil galvanometer which will give it will be fixed for some current if we change the resistance value the range of voltage will be changing suppose we want to measure the value for v1 range we are connecting this ammeter that is a galvanometer to the rsc1 okay if we want to measure the value of the second range v2 we connecting this switch to the v2 then we can finding out the in this range voltage if you connect this switch to the v3 we can finding out the voltage in this range if you connect the switch to this v4 we can calculate this range of voltage that is this current into this resistance you will getting some voltage range like that we can measure the multiple range of uh, uh, multiple voltages by using a multi range voltmeter the one more is differential voltmeter this is the one type of voltmeter which is used to finding out the unknown voltage with the help of the reference voltage here we have a reference voltage here we are connecting a potentiometer here we have a unknown voltage when we varying the potentiometer okay when the null indicator shows zero this corresponding voltage is equals to the unknown voltage like that we can finding out the unknown voltage you see this one the difference voltmeter technique is one of the most common and accurate method of a measuring unknown voltage in this technique the voltmeter is used to indicate the difference between known and unknown voltages that is unknown voltage is compared to the known voltage the basic circuit of the differential voltmeter is based on the potentiometric method hence it is sometimes also called as potentiometric meter why because here we are correcting a potentiometer we are varying this terminal right so in this method the potentiometer is varied until the voltage across it equals the unknown voltage which is indicated by the null indicator reading zero when we varying this indicator if the null indicator shows zero the value of unknown voltage will be given by this value of the potentiometer under null condition the meter draws current from either the reference source or nor the known source unknown source or reference voltage source 
like that we can finding out the unknown voltages by using a differential voltmeter the one more type of voltmeter is solid state voltmeter right here we are using a high gain amplifier that is the high gain of operational amplifier by using this one also we can finding out different ranges of voltages by using this one also we can finding out finding different range of voltages right here we are using a op amp here we are using a, a feedback network between the terminal 6 and the terminal 2 for controlling the gain of that amplifier why because it is high gain amplifier okay here we are using a 0.1 micro uh, farad capacitor to stabilize the circuit and here we are using a potentiometer which is controlled by the minus 5 volt 5 volts which is used to indicate uh, uh, used to set this galvanometer to the, the zero level here we are using r4 resistor here the uh, the r4 resistor is used to control the this galvanometer also and also in this connection here we are using two diodes okay why because here we are applying input is a any one polarity if this amplifier is designed for the 10 volts if the sorry the, if the voltmeter is designed for 10 volts if any voltage that is the positive or negative exceeds 10, 10 volts either this diode or this diode based on the polarity will be conducting the axis voltage will be goes to the top like that it will protect the amplifier also here we are using multiple ranges that is uh, this is the one volt this is that 100 millivolts this is the 10 millivolts this is the 10 volt range this is the 100 volt range this is the switch when we connecting this switch to the 100 volt we can finding out the value from 0 to 100 volt if you connect uh, this switch to the 10 millivolts we can finding out the 0 to 10 millivolt range of voltage when this system is connected in between the terminals right that are that all are explained here the ratio of r2 by r1 determines the gain the most of the for this circuit the gain will be 101 okay the 0 0.1 microfarad capacitor across the 10 100k resistance r2 is for stability and stray pickups terminal 1 and 5 are called the offset null terminals this one this one and this one is calling as upset null terminals and 10 kilo ohms potentiometer is connected between the two upset null terminals which is a center tap connected to the negative 5 volt supply the potentiometer is called zero set and it is used to adjusting the zero output of zero input conditions the two diodes are used for ic protection purpose right this is the uh, actual working of solid state multi range voltmeter or solid state voltmeter some of the glossary here the ac is nothing but a alternating current that is an electronic current that continuously change changes direction as it flows the dc is the direct current an electronic current that always flow in the same direction analog means that a continuous time signal digital means a discrete time signal the next topic is ac voltmeter this is a, this is the simple or short answer question how the range uh, the range of the dc voltmeter is extended the sample long answer question is describe the working of dc voltmeter with a schematic diagram thank you